Hi there, it's Natural Smarty. There's been an explosion of cotton-like seeds across the Midwest here in late spring. It's from the Eastern Cottonwood Populous Deltoids. Let's go find this tree and learn how to identify it. Here we go. Wait a minute, <laughs> there is one right there. Let's check it out. You can identify a cottonwood by its gray to silvery bark. And you have these ridges, these deeply furrowed ridges that have horizontal splits. Ends up giving you this block and you see this blocky chunk effect as you move up the tree. If the branches are low enough, you'll see these triangular leaves, classic shape for the cottonwood. The leaf edge, the margin, can look wavy. It's actually toothed and the teeth are blunt tipped. The leaf stem upon cross section is flattened. What that allows for is a little bit of this wiggling when you see a whole collection of them up at the tree canopy. It looks like the tree is sort of being tickled by the wind. Whoa, it is snowing cotton. So eastern cottonwood trees are what's considered dioecious. That means there's a separate male and female tree. The female trees produce this. There is a string of capsules, each individually producing their own bunch of seeds with those cotton-like hairs. This is one of those capsules. Eastern cottonwoods are fairly easy to identify, but here's another trick. You have these very bendable, almost cork-like twigs. When you're checking for a cottonwood, look around streams and rivers. The floodplain area usually has at least one. If there's one, there's probably a ton. This is a very fast-growing tree species, several feet a year, maybe five feet a year, putting it at well over 65 feet, possibly 100, in its lifetime. Though, because it's such a fast grower, its lumber is rather soft. Cool studies by U.S. Geological Survey have shown efficacy with eastern cottonwood in phytoremediation. That means it can actually clean up contaminated groundwater. That's amazing! Good luck finding your own eastern cottonwood. Happy trails.